Joe, just first see if we could get your reaction to the Melbourne Rebels victory. Uh, it was a tight game. We were obviously behind for large portions of it, but uh, should have got a bit of resolve to come back and, and get the win. Yeah, delighted to get the result, but uh, in the pre-season, the, the main thing is to give experienced players to try a few combinations out to, to see if we can get um, some sort of pattern or organisation up and running as well. So it, it's great to get the result, but... Really, for us, it was just important, A, not to get any injuries. We're, we're a little bit thin on the ground with, uh, with 13 guys heading to New Zealand very soon, um, which is fantastic um, for, the, for the club, for the province. And uh, I think that Melbourne, they had, uh, they had a real mix to their team as well, you know, to, to keep our feet on the ground. It's important to realise that some of their guys were, were, uh, were really trying to play for contracts. They're not fully contracted yet. Um, at one stage, it was... You know, it's at the same time impressive to see Greg Somerville, Sterling Mortlock, uh, Sam Cordingly, and um, and I think Lipman came off at the same time. You know, those 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 are iconic names in uh, in Test football. So you know, it's it's nice to be able to to play against that quality of player. But they they did have a mixture, and um, thankfully we uh, we put a few things together. And I thought Darren Hudson finished the finished the match winner really really well. There's a team who we uh, know very well who are coming to Donnybrook this Friday in Northampton Saints. They're going to have a very strong team by the sounds of it and quite similar to who play, the team that played in the Heineken Cup final. So what kind of a test are you expecting from them? And I know that we might be in a position to welcome back some, some players ourselves. Uh, I'm expecting a really bruising bruising test. Um, I saw that they beat Toulouse and Toulouse uh, or in, in, in France um, last weekend, 31, 16 or 17, so that they had a comfortable victory against the likes of Potano, Jan David, uh, they had uh, Florian Fritz out, they had, even up front, they had some very, very good players. Uh, so, um, you know, we know them well enough to know that if we're at our very best, they're tough enough to beat. And uh, if we're anything short of that, and with, uh, with a very much a, a changed outfit from our Heineken Cup final, uh, I think they've got maybe nine or ten still there. We'll have maybe one or two um, by the time we count our numbers. So I think that in itself will make it a real challenge. You must have been impressed by uh, some of the first starts and some of the debuts from, from players last week, specifically thinking the likes of Matt Burkus, Stephen Sykes. But also the younger players in the academy have really, really took a took their opportunity last week. Are you looking forward for, to more of the same this week? Yeah, I think um, for us, uh, Matt Buquis, I thought he kicked, he kicked very long, he, he kicked very well, he passed, he, he defended pretty well. So you know, it was a good introduction uh, for Matt to to you know impress upon his teammates as much as anything that uh, that he's a player of quality. I think uh, Stephen Sykes, he, he's uh, he's still working, he's still trying to get his feet on the ground so uh, hopefully he'll uh, he'll really impose himself because this is going to be a really bruising battle and I think that's what he likes best.